I didn't have my normal uh, intro. Let's see if we're live. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are just doing an impromptu live. I just kind of like was looking at the new makeup and I'm like, I'm not gonna have time to film this, but I'd like to just show it to see if anybody's interested in seeing that on my medium skin tone and we can just kind of talk about what you guys got and whatnot. So I thought, you know what, let's just do this during lunch. I know that people are working, but they can always watch it on the replay. We'll just play with makeup and I'll get your thoughts on what you think. So. What is everybody up to? Oh, hey, Jean VA. Hey, Molly. I It takes a minute for things to populate. What are you guys up to? Are you guys at work or what are you guys doing? I'm um obviously on my lunch break, but one of the benefits of working from home is that I can, you know, plop from my desk to here very quickly. So this is a lot easier for me to just kind of go through it. And just so you guys know, I'm putting on my Fenty eavesdrops. I wanna make sure that I um, have a nice little base before we get started. And I mean, how's everybody feeling after the VIB sale? I feel like I normally lose my mind. And um, whatchamacallit, um, I normally lose my mind. I want everything, even though I have everything, but I buy so much. And this time I placed two orders. And to be honest, I wasn't feeling too good last night. So I was supposed to go on there and order my Westman Atelier Peau de Peche, you know, my little highlighter. Hey, it's not a phase. How are you? Um, and I didn't do that because I totally forgot. I just didn't feel good. So I figured, you know what? I already know that I'm going to love the rest of the Westman Atelier stuff. I just will have to wait for that highlighter because... You know, if you guys remember last year, like Sephora totally played us because they knew we were at home bored and not doing much. And so we had the spring VIB sale and then literally like a month later, maybe like six weeks later, they had the summer savings event. And I was like, OK, I can wait. I can wait. Um, so I was kind of proud of myself. I only had two orders this time. Um, and I think that's a good thing. Hey, Ashley, how are you? We're just playing with makeup, doll. We're just, you know, trying to be a little extra here. I just didn't, I wasn't going to have time to film with some of this stuff, so I wanted to show it. So that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts when you guys see this stuff. Some of it is new makeup. Some of it is new makeup to me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to try it on. More than anything, I want to get some swatches up for this Mary Jane palette. <laughs> <laughs> I've already heard some stuff. Um, I played with the palette for the first time yesterday and I actually liked it. Um, I do, I am hearing comments like they don't like that it takes work, you know? And I don't really mind that too much. I didn't have any issues, but I want to show you guys like real time swatches because, you know, sometimes when you have, hey, Kiran, when you have swatches, um, you know, in photos or whatnot, you know, there's some context that we're missing there, right? Like how many times did you swatch it or how heavy did you have to go in or was there glitter everywhere for like two weeks, you know, like we want to know these things. So I thought I would just swatch it live for you guys and do like a pretty quick look. Like I do, I am already liking like the versatility on it, on, on it because people like to do like a, just a, neutral look for work but you can like oomph it up like really really fast so i do like that um and then i'll just kind of compare like to my recent melt purchases like what do we think you know what i mean who in the chat got it i'm just curious who in the chat got it working with our future lol but here for this part <laughs> thanks a beauty in the frizz well, okay, so Molly says this palette looks bad. Tell me why it looks bad. Like, I want to know. Like, because I didn't know. Hey, Sarah, how are you? I didn't know that the palette looked bad. I thought it was very pretty. Um, I do think that the, like, do you mean the shades? Do you mean what you think the performance will be? Like, what do you mean, Molly? Um, hey, Jamie, how are you? 
What's Kieran saying? Let me see. Not me. The palette looks boring. <laughs> yeah. Um. I will. I will admit that the reason why I was even interested in it, if I'm being honest, is because of the glitter pots, and the glitter pots weren't even available at Sephora. That being said, I don't know. I've liked everything that Melt has released lately, so I thought, you know what? Let's get a shot. I mean, I'm not doing anything else that day, so whatever, you know? So that's what I thought I would do. So let's go ahead. Oh, hey, Eileen. What's going on, girl? It's not for you. Okay, so let's see how we can oomph it up. But before we do, please, please, please don't forget to like if you like what you're seeing. Also, if there's an item here that somebody was talking to you about or whatever, please share my lives. It really does help me out. Don't forget to subscribe. All that, all that, all that. All right, crumble, crumble. <laughs> all right, Molly. So she she already knows. All right, crumble, crumble. All right, I'm so over Melt 420 theme. Yeah, you know, they're like big smokers, so I guess that's what happens, but whatever. You know, they do what they do. Um, I know I don't have the 420 palette. I have the Smoke Sessions palette, and the Smoke Sessions is bomb. I love it, love it, love it. So, yeah. We're gonna start with some new makeup, guys. So this is, again, some of it is new, some of it is new makeup to me. And I'm gonna start with the new Pat McGrath Under Eye Powder. I love, love, love the medium powder, but I, it broke. I used it a ton, but then it broke. So this time I thought that I would pick up the banana one. So that's what I have here. I'm going in with my Wayne Goss Airbrush brush. And then one thing that I wanted to mention when it comes to this powder is the formula in the medium, what I noticed was that I did get hard pan. And it's because I would go in with like a wet, um, not wet, but like a damp beauty blender afterwards and just kind of go into the pan. Don't do that. You'll get hard pan. So just want to point that out. I've never, ever, ever applied a banana powder or yellow powder. So what do we think? I think it's a little brightening. It's fine. I more than anything just like the, I like the formula, you know. Hey, on camera it looks pretty good though. Did anybody pick this one up? Let me see. They're going to do strain collections. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> on somewhat related note, happy 420. Yeah, happy 420. But I mean, to me it's like, well, yesterday was happy 419. <laughs> Tomorrow it'll be happy 421. But yeah, happy 420 to those that... Choose to partake in the recreational activities today. Um, all right. We'll be listening but working right now. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay, so I do like this, you guys. Do you guys see how it's a little brightening under the eyes? I do like it. I love the formula. Um, if you haven't tried this Pat McGrath under eye powder, I really, really recommend it. I think it's beautiful. So that's a win. All right, next, this one I kind of waited on and I watched reviews, which I don't normally do that anymore because of having a channel. I want to form my own thoughts and opinions on products for you guys. But this one I waited on and then I watched reviews because I wanted to know. And I'm talking about the Tatcha Silk Powder. I'm so excited. Um, I saw really good things. Let me see what you guys, if Melt sold weed with the palette, then I... <laughs> oh, there's my girl right there. <laughs> All right, so for those of you that haven't seen it, it comes with like a little stopper there. So that's really cute. I love when it's, back in the day, they had like the little plastic stoppers for powders that drove me nuts because they never re, how do you open this? Oh shit, I'm ruining it already. How do you open this? Oh, okay. I guess you just take off the little plastic ring and then take it out that way. Oh. So that's even less waste. I like that. All right. Who has this powder and what are your thoughts? I'm excited. Okay, I'm going in with a refer number five. Hey, Tamara, how are you, doll? And I'm just going to, I almost bought the brush because, and the brush was only on the Tatcha website because it looks so beautiful. It has like a 24 karat gold, like, what do they call it? Feral or whatever, but yeah, I didn't do that. All right, so on an initial application, no scent, which I didn't expect there to be with Tatcha. Let me see. Hmm, it looks pretty. 
I don't know if it's poor blurring simply because my Fenty eavesdrops are poor blurring, but it looks pretty. Hmm. It does look pretty. I don't know if you guys can, let me see, let me try to bring you in. Yeah, it does look silky smooth. I'll tell you that. Hmm. I like it. All right. Okay, Tatcha. I like Tatcha everything though. Like I bought the Gucci powder and love it. <gasps> I don't know why I play myself like that, but I still haven't bought the Gucci powder and I will. I'll buy it for the summer savings event because you know they lie. It's not two sales a year. There's a bunch of sales a year. So I'll buy it then. You guys, this Tatcha powder, not sure if you've seen reviews or not, but it is very, very pretty, very silky. It made my face look so nice. Who has this powder? Hey, Chai, no worries. Yeah, it was just an impromptu live. How are you, doll? Oh, this is so pretty, guys. There's a little bit of radiance, but I love it. I love it. I don't know who got it. Please let me know what your thoughts are. I want to know. Next. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with cream blush next, even though I just put powder, because I want to test it. I just think that there's been a lot said about these blush lights, the melt blush lights. Now, I said this on my live with Ashley. The only color that I could get was Lynx. Um, everything else was gone. That being said, a friend, my friend Ashley is sending me um, Sandy Cheeks, which is the color that I wanted. Um, let's see here. Pretty Tatcha. Yeah, it's pretty. In a month, they'll probably have a new coupon code. Oh, my God. I know it's not a phase. It's so annoying. But the one that I got was Lynx. And I got this after talking through it with Dr. Ash because it's like a little bit of a yellow color. I mean, you can hardly see it there. But there was a nice luminosity in the picture. And what I figured is I have so many blushes, you guys, that I want to try something new that I don't have in my collection. And this kind of fit the bill because there was nothing new. I It's very, very emollient just from swatching it the first time. And there's no scent. Nope. So I'm going to go ahead and just swipe. Even though it's over powder, this is a good way to test the product because they say that you can do it over powder. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. There's um like a really nice radiance to it. Now I'm going in with a... Oh, it does show up. There's just like a, like a hint of like berry or cherry in there. That's really pretty. I did not expect that at all. Daphne, hi Daphne. That's okay. I know it's kind of in the middle. Does anyone have a code for melt? Does anybody, can we help Kieran? I don't have a code for melt, but um, does anybody, have you seen anything that might help our girl? All right, so this, you guys, is so beautiful. It did not disrupt my powder. I just swiped with my finger and it's everything's intact. So the products are playing really, really nicely together. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah, so um, Ashley Crutchfield, anyway, she was so nice. She said that um, the sandy cheeks wouldn't really show up on her complexion, so if she could send it to me, I was like, yes, girl. That's so nice. So she's sending me that one, so I'll swatch it at some point for a makeup and chill. Ooh. I have news about our makeup and show you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Yadi, did you get a copyright for your music during your live with Ashley? <laughs> no, but it was, um, I didn't try, but it was, um, I have Epidemic Sound that we use for our videos. So that's royalty free music. So I'll, I'll send you the info if you don't have that for your, um, for your videos. Yeah, so it was totally fine. But thank you for checking. Okay, I have some news about my makeup and show. This is really cool. I um, I think I, I've talked about this before with everyone on my channel. Like I do get Botox from time to time. And once I did get filler, um, this was a while ago. Um, but my nurse injector, she's a sweetheart and she just like loves to educate me when I come in. And so I messaged her a while ago, but um, she got back to me 
And she said that um, she would love to come on to our makeup and chill and just talk about like just injectables and what the options are and like, do you really want to do that? Or when does skincare stop working? And then you have to resort to other things if you're trying to like, you know, just kind of, I guess, enhance the appearance of what you see in the mirror. So I thought that was super, super cool. I'm very excited that she agreed to come on. So look out for that in the month of May. Make sure you share with your friends if they're interested. So she'll just come on and just talk about different options, different injectables, like what goes into it, what the right option is for you. Um, the next thing that I'm going in with is my Dior bronzer. This is one of the new bronzers. This is in the shade 06, Amber Bronze. I got it at Neiman's. They didn't have like a large selection, but I was picking up a couple things for my makeup and history. I'm going to do makeup and history on Dior because... It's actually a really cool brand, you guys. There's a lot of there's a lot of history and a lot of reasons why, you know, they have the symbols they have and all of that. So I thought it was cool. I'm gonna be doing makeup and history. Popping in and out of chat. Oh yeah, yeah, no worries, Ashley. I know. Um Yeah. Okay, so Molly's really excited. Yeah, because I just think sometimes some people let me just swatch this bronzer for you guys real quick. That's what the bronzer looks like. This is 06 Amber Bronze. And sometimes people kind of treat it as a taboo topic. And I don't think it is. Like, do what you want. Do what makes you feel good. That's 06 Amber, you guys. I feel like I could have gotten gone maybe a shade deeper. But I looked at the 8. They had the 8. And it looked way too deep. So... They don't let you swatch right now, so that's okay. I'm going in with my BK Beauty 107. This is a really pretty, like, cinched brush that you can use for bronzer. Um, can she reduce my five head? <laughs> no, but a little bit of a uh, bronze and contour, honey, does the trick. Ooh, that's beautiful. Do you guys see that? Bronzer? No bronzer. That's really pretty. I've never, ever had a Dior bronzer, believe it or not. So I'm excited to try this formula. I thought about getting the Patrick Ta because the moment I saw it, I said, ooh, what if we did like a comparison between Patrick Ta and Wayne Goss? But I saw some people do that as well. And I was like, hey, I don't know. Cream products, as you know, I'm like combination oily. So summer's coming here in Dallas. It might not be the best thing for me. So I thought I would pass on and then try the Dior instead. And I love it. I love it, honey. So we are going back to our luxury no buy in case anybody's wondering. Um, I got my Westman Atelier and that's it. I'm going back on it. But, you know, I was just talking about this with Kara and Ash today. I was like, man, like, you know, it's just crazy how I was buying so much last year. And um, I don't know how I did that because now that I'm not buying that much, it's like I don't even have time to use up the makeup that I'm buying now under my new rules. Like, how did I do that? And of course, I was posting like five days a week, so I wasn't sleeping. I was working every single day. Um, this is really beautiful, you guys. Look at that. Do we see that? I love it. Okay, Ashley says, yeah, I use shade 8 in the bronzer. I really like this bronzer. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I mean, I don't know why I'm so shocked. I really like their blush, too. Their blushes are really pretty. Um, even, like, their weird highlighter. Remember, they named it Blush for the Dior Holiday 2020. Um, but it, it's a beautiful highlighter, to be honest. So I do, I do like it. I enjoy it. All right, so we're all bronzed up and ready to go, honeys. Let's get into this palette that everybody's asking for. Yeah, it's really pretty, Ashley. Um, and then by the time I'm done, I do have a new Dior lipstick that I will also be using for my Dior makeup and history video, so more to come on that, but I'll use it today since it's the only shade I picked up. Um, but let's get into this palette because that's what everybody's here. <laughs> everybody's here for the trash palette. <laughs> But we are talking about the Mel Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. I think it's so cute, you guys. It's like the glitter doesn't move as much as I want it to, but it is just gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. 
Okay. And the Hermes drop. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was talking about that chai today. I was like, when you think about it, it's like 100 bucks a blush, I think. 77 or 72 for the lipsticks. 100 bucks for the brush. I don't know. I, I know. I know what you're meaning. Like, oh, I need an intervention, whatever. But there are certain things that you just like and you want everything. It's not our job to judge anybody's uh, purchasing decisions. I just know that for me after the year I had last year, like, where am I going? Is my makeup going with me? Because if it's not, ugh, I just need to stop. But for now, I'm excited to see Hermes on your channel. <laughs> I'll live through you. But there's the palette, guys. This is the Mel Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. It's a little... There we go. So you see the detail on it. They always kill it with the detailing. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, and those are the shades there. Somebody said, I can't remember who, and let me see. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to start with Mary Jane and then work my way all the way through Cali, okay? Um, somebody said that, that like, the reason that they couldn't get over, like, all they saw was, like, naked, naked two or something. All right, you guys. So let's keep it real here in my channel, okay? I just tried to swatch and I couldn't get the color up, okay? This might be one of the trouble shimmers. Then I dug in really, really hard with my greedy little fingers and it kind of started getting powdery. Hey, Locke, how are you? Okay. Then um, even here on my finger, you can't even see that much. So I just wanna make sure I'm staying honest here. I'm not going to give them a glowing review just because I like the packaging. So it's powdery on my finger now. And let's swatch. Mm, here we go. It's okay. It's a little powdery. It's a little powdery. It's all right. Um, let's go on to the next one. Gaspar, I did use yesterday and I did like it. It's a matte. That one, I really, really liked it. And yeah, that one looks better. My swatches, oh my God. Let me start over, hold on. So Gaspar is the second matte and I do like it. Um, let me see. Mel is too inconsistent for me, which is unfortunate because their color stories are good. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. Let's test together. <laughs> um, I don't know just because I don't, the only palettes I have are really good. So I have Smoke Sessions, which I heard was better than the 420. And then I have the Beetlejuice Collection. And that one was really, really good. So that's what I can compare it to. So I'm just swatching again because the first two swatches were shit. Um, yeah, so there's a the shimmer there. This is Mary Jane. And then we have Gaspar, which is really nice. It's like muddy and grungy and murky. Like, I don't know what to call this color, but it's so pretty. I really, really love that. That's a lot grungier, not as cool toned as I would have expected. I really love it. Okay. So then we have Sweet Lucy, which is a shimmer. It's also, let me just show you guys so you know what I'm talking about. It's like a little hard to like get into it. It's like you have to like press really, really hard for it to come off on your finger. And then that's what it looks like on my finger right now. It's really powdery. And you have to work with the swatch because that's a pretty swatch. But you have to work with it because it's real crumbly. So like Molly said, crumble, 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 right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do have the blue one. I do have blueprint. Yeah, see, I forgot I even had blueprint because I've used it a couple times and it's pretty. That one was really pretty. And I had the eyeliners. Those were really pretty. Um, but I haven't used it again. That's why I wanted to do this live because if I don't, I won't record it. Um, so this one, Sweet Lucy, 
although it's like crumble 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 um it's still it's swatched really pretty so for like a nighttime look hmm oh that's okay lorraine we actually just started a little bit ago like 20 minutes ago the next one is bomba and it's another shimmer but oh i wish i could yeah there we go do you guys see like how crumbly it is there's crumbles everywhere that being said i mean here's your swatch you know that looks pretty that looks really pretty Ooh, bomba looks bomb but look at my 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 pan is destroyed can you guys see that you see how the pan is destroyed i had to really dig in there all right next is sin semilla it means without seed look at this i mean i don't think i've heard people say bad things about the mats the mats are bomb i think look at how pretty that is that's a pretty pretty mat it's messy yeah you're right it's not a phase it's messy um the mats are not the mats are very silky they swatch pretty they work really pretty on the lids um but yeah getting into this now i'm going into santa maria and the same you guys i'm finding a lot of crumbling do you see how there's like that bit of eyeshadow right there a lot of crumbling But the shade is, I mean, the swatch is bomb, you know? So it's one of those things, do you really care if it's crumbly or not? Some people do. But that swatch is beautiful. Wow. That is gorgeous. I do like it. Yeah, it's a little chunky. So it's one of those things where, like, even though they swatch beautiful and everything, like, you might want to, like, pat, pat, pat. You know what I mean? So... I'm going into another matte, which is Rubia. And again, like, they're almost like creamy, you guys. They're really pretty. Like, they don't, don't nobody shoot me, but they kind of remind me like the creamy texture of it, like of the Natasha Denona. So, yeah. That's what we have there. Can you guys, yeah. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. I'm going into bow. Um, same thing, crumbly, but they're this one's really creamy. Um, there it is. I feel like the colors are beautiful. Now I'm going into Mary or Muddy. It's another matte right here on my ring finger. The shades are beautiful. I just think like it's something in the formula. Like they had to perfect one more little thing. You guys can't see it, but it's there. It's just totally my skin color. <laughs> There's Muddy or Mary. Mary Jane. Dane, you guys really can't see that. That's my skin color, but it's a good transition color. Yeah, I mean, I I just think, like, people have said it's just a lot of work. Okay, this one, Kali. Th I was disappointed in this one. But I'll show you guys the pan right now. But this is Kali, the last one. And I'll, I'll show you my pan right now. That's what it looks like. It's, like, meh. Like, unimpressive. But that one destroyed my pan. And I have like, hold on. My camera will focus. There we go. It destroyed my pan. Like there's a big dip at the end there. And there's like chunks of like the shimmer all over my desk right now. So, all right, whatever. We'll stop bashing the formula. Now we're going to start with, what are you guys saying? I love the color story, but the formula might be too much work for me. Yeah. Maybe it's like an eyes first sticky base for me. Yeah, totally, totally. So this is what it's not a phase mom is saying. And I, I totally agree with her because, hey, the blush is good, right? Yeah, I like it. 
I do like it. I'm surprised that it showed up this much. I am surprised. I will say that like um, the color story is too pretty for me to return it because some people were even saying like, screw that, I'm returning it. The color story is too pretty for me to return it, but it is gonna be a lot of work. So let's just get in here and start working on it and see what we can come up with. I'll start with a day look and then we'll just oomph it up for nighttime um, because that's what I think this palette is really made for in my opinion, but I'm gonna start with the shade um, Mari this one here and you know my BK 201 you already know oh let me do eye primer just because I don't want this stuff all over my shirt yeah so any other um any other palettes or eye makeup that you guys got during the Sephora sale. I know for me, this was the only one that I kind of had my eye on, but was there anything else that you guys picked up? I'm curious. I feel like the big, big um, theme for this VIB was um, the Mel Blush Lights and the Westman Atelier. Like I felt like a lot of people were talking about that. Um, so I'm just interested to see what you guys got. All right, so I'm gonna go into that lighter color Mari, or Mary. I don't know why I wanna call it Mari. Maybe because it's not M-A-R-Y, it's M-A-R-I. So I'm going into Mari, and I'm just gonna pop that into the transition. So even though, you know, when I did the swatch, you could barely see it on my skin tone, it does show up very easily. Um, but it is a transition shade. It's really light, um, but I like that. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable when working with a palette. So there we go. I did a look yesterday. It was really pretty. It was really, really pretty. It was a little more sultry and more than you would probably do during an everyday, but... I got the Tower 28 blushes. Ooh, those are so pretty, Lorraine. No eye palette during the sale for me. Yeah, it's like we had everything, right? Um, all right, so there we go. Do you see how pretty that is? I wanna, there we go. Make sure you guys can see. It's just a really pretty everyday, like one and done, if you were going to the office like that, okay? Hiya, Duchess K. Yeah. I do like that a lot, okay? I was surprised by how much I like this, and I think it reminds me of how I used to do neutral looks back in the day, but yeah, I really, really like that. Now, just for every day, because I know I'm gonna turn this into a night look in just a second, I'm gonna go into Gaspar right here, and I'm just going to, with my, what is this? This is a refer number 13. I'm just, is this refer? Yes. I'm just gonna pop it here in the outer corner and just buff, buff, buff. See, and it looks really light in the pan, but can you see how pretty it builds up? That's really gorgeous. I live for these grungy brown colors though. I really, really do. And I do have fallout here. I don't think you guys can see it, but I do. Where's my brush? Oh, the Huda purple one. Hmm. Yeah. I only have one Huda palette. Um, and I really did like it, the Rose Gold Remastered. So, I don't know why I don't buy more Huda, honestly. Oh, and I do like the folk, the foundation stick. That one's a good one. Okay, do you guys see? It's like very understated, but smoky, but grungy, but I am, I don't know. I think that this one, Gaspar, is probably my favorite shade in the whole palette. It's so pretty. And this is like a very perfect, like every day, go to work. Even the first one alone was a good 
everyday color but this one i let's be honest i need something to deepen out that outer v just because of the shape of my eyes this is a perfect situation for work pop on some lashes or some mascara boom you're done this is so pretty i resisted the gold i resisted the huda and regretted strongly oh wow vanna's here hi vanna I'm dipping my toes into cream products, excited to try the, oh yeah, and she got the Danessa Myricks contour and one Gucci lipstick because everybody loves them. Oh my God, I love my Gucci lipsticks. They're perfection. All right, guys, this is pretty. This is really, really pretty, okay? So, okay, take a mental snapshot. This is a perfect everyday. I believe that this would complement most skin tones. Um, you know, if you were a little bit like if you were deeper complected than me, there's a deeper shade here, seen Mia, that you could deepen out the outer V just a little bit more. But for every day, this is so pretty. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this is what we got going on. Then I'm gonna show you guys the look I did yesterday because it was just gorgeous. What I ended up doing is I then went in with my fingers. And I went into uh, Bamba, and I'm I'm not even trying to lie here. Like you need your fingers, okay? Truth be told, you probably need a glitter glue, but I'm not trying to do all that because my lunch hour is over in 20 minutes. So I have it here, and then I'm just pressing, okay? Pressing. I'm pressing, and then like reassessing my life like why did i do my freaking foundation first because there's fallout everywhere but it's okay so i'm pressing 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 again we're taking this daytime look over to nighttime okay so pretty we're just pressing in even though i pressed and i was a very very carefully oh yeah jammy's eyes and her eye looks are so cute Try saying that jammy's so pretty. She is so pretty. She's got such an angel face. All right, I'm going to take a little bit more. I'm going to press into the outer corner. Um, that is gorgeous. Do you guys see that for nighttime? How it just instantly glams up? So if you're doing your foundation second, you have a special night out, this palette does it for me you guys and you know thinking about the glitter pots and everything else like this is such a like new year's eve type of party for me i love it let me see hi nadia oh, okay thank you vanna all right so then that's what i did there okay so we have um uh, bamba on the outer corner then i went in with Golly, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with bow first. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go in with Santa Maria, which is the one right here in the middle. It is cool tone and it's another piece of shit shimmer. I mean, piece of shit because they crumble, but they really do work nicely on the eyes, you guys, as you can see. It really is pretty. So I'm just going to pop that one in just in the middle, just slightly. And this one has more. This one had like a brown, like grungy greenish tone to it this one's more silver um so i do love that and i'm just gonna pop 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 with my chubby little greedy finger and just go in there like that yeah that's pretty you guys see that i really do love that then last but not least hum i wonder if i should use mary jane or kali i'm gonna use mary jane because i used kali yesterday and it was no good i'm just telling you <laughs> um it was too crumbly the look was gorgeous all day long but it was too crumbly so i'm gonna take my rare beauty this little packer brush and i'm going to go into mary jane which is this one here the palette's namesake Oh, really, Nadia? Yeah, so we've, I showed swatches and stuff. Um, the shimmers are really crumbly. That being said, once you work with them and you get them on the eyes, they're really pretty, but they are crumbly. So it's not like you're going to have this 
amazing Pat McGrath experience or anything, but all right, so I packed it on there on my brush and I'm gonna take my Mac Fix Plus and I'm going to just missed a little bit there. All right, bye Molly, see you later. Thanks for hanging out. All right, Chai, what, what happened to Chai? Three of your Gucci lipsticks broke, what the hell? Oh my God, that's so sad, I'm so sorry. Um, all right, so I wet it here. I would cry. I would cry. So that's what we have. I'm not like seeing anything spectacular by wetting the shade. I mean, it's a little foiled. And you can see that. But it's really pretty. It's just you have to work with it, Nadia. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Hey, Christiane. Is Christiane here? I don't see her. Yeah. So, but I mean, do you guys see that? It is beautiful. It is. I'm not going to lie. Just depends on how much you're willing to work with it, I guess. And this brush is dope. I just put it on in the inner corner and then I swooped it over and it made this little line for me. I love it. So let me wet a little more. All right. So there we go. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. I want to say that I don't the shades I love and I don't have anything like this in my collection. Okay. I love, love, love the shades. The shimmers, I can see how it's going to be a lot of work. However, I'm just going in with uh, Rubia on the lower lash line. I do. I am happy to have this because I don't have any other shades like this. Um, tones and such so for special occasions if i really want to smoke it out if i really wanted to um glam it up with the shimmers i would start with my eye makeup and then i would go into my face makeup and it would be all good it would be all good because this look is stunning it is beautiful it is grungy it is smoky and um you know it's the effort part for me right so i'll put mascara on in a little bit i'm gonna finish it off by trying this lipstick thank you thank you jean -Vier. yeah is that sh is that shade kind of lime green or are my eyes playing tricks on me um no they they are they it is it is this one on the outside jammy it's totally like a oh no this one's a gold it's not lime green sorry the inner corner is uh it's a gold there's no lime green. So. For me, it's like a formal black tie event, smoky holiday look palette is what I think. The Dior lipstick I'm going in with is part of the new summer 2021 collection. It's 879. Um, it's called, that's weird. I don't think that's the color. Because it says Nomad Red, but this is a nude. Okay, it's Nude Desert. It's 323 Nude Desert, and it's this one here. It's really pretty, I think. Yeah, they are unique, Nadia. I think so. Um, I have some grungy colors like this uh, from, I want to say Sydney Grace, maybe. I have the Mountain Trail bundle, the green bundle set from Sydney Grace, so maybe, but. So that's the, the Dior lipstick there. This is a nude desert. So pretty. Yeah, I think you're right. I would It would have been better for New Year's for sure. That's what I was thinking, like a holiday party palette, you know? So there is the Dior lipstick. That's gorgeous. You guys, update on this Tatcha powder. 
Aside from all the fallout I have, which is really quite ridiculous, um, the powder looks gorgeous, you guys. Who got the Tatcha powder? I want to know. That powder looks really beautiful. I do love it. <gasps> Christiane, what did you do? I need an intervention. <coughs> I ordered a second Hermes blush. Well... I think you're okay. <laughs> I feel like, you know, when I saw, and, and I get why we do this. Like for us, it's also like, you know, it's kind of a write-off also, but you know, I've seen quite a bit of people that are reviewing the blushes that have all seven. And I'm like, ouch, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. This year I feel like, and I'm not judging them. Shoot. Truth be told, I'm just a little bit jealous. I'm just not willing to do it this year. Um, I just like, because I have so much makeup and I got to the point where I felt so overwhelmed for me, it was like, I need to add stuff to my collection that is different. Um, that is a standout. And so that's why I'm excited about, I'm actually really excited about this Lynx melt blush because I don't have a yellow blush, but as we can see, it's not as yellow as it looks in the promo pics for Sephora. It's actually really, really pretty. So... Yeah, I'm excited to see you guys with those blushes. And I guess like more than just see the blushes, I'm excited to hear your thoughts on like the formula, the wearability, the longevity. Like that's what I'm excited for. But I was watching Arahi World. She has a luxury channel here on, on YouTube. And she was talking about how, you know, it's almost like, yes, she got all seven blushes and the lip enhancers and the brush. But it's almost like, she's like, oh, part, you know, this is a part of history. Like, they've never had this before and blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, I kind of agree with that, actually. I just wasn't willing to do it this time. But I do agree with that. Like, just having a part of um, a little bit of history. It's a big launch for them. So I think that was nice. I guess they also released, like, a bag um for the summer collection as well or with release of this blush collection so that's exciting um but yeah i'm happy for all of you i want to know your thoughts at some point but yeah all right guys so let me see i'm on a no buy for a month yeah bad thing try because then you can enjoy everything you bought you know from Sephora and from Hermes let me just spray my face down I want to spray my face down and like pat my eyes in like no more fallout definitely definitely a palette that must be worn or applied first definitely beautiful I mean it's beautiful look it is just gorgeous but if you don't have these shades in your collection and you wanted them, that's great. I support that. If you have something similar that has a great formula that you enjoy, maybe just kind of stick with that. Um, I had heard that Melt was like kind of hit or miss, and I, I guess this is my first experience with that. So, I mean, that's what I can say. I wanted to swatch it for you guys. I wanted to try this makeup on with you since I, wouldn't, I wasn't really going to have time to do like a formal video on it. Um, I do have my brow video coming this week. I have the new magnetic, um, glamnetic lashes that were released that's coming this week. And what else? Oh, my Shantakai get ready with me. So there's a lot of fun stuff that's coming. Also, look out, like I said, for that in my Makeup and Chill series in May. I'm going to have a nurse injector on to just kind of talk to us about all the different options we have. Um, and yeah, let me know what else. I'm also re um, talking to somebody about skincare, just like um, an ingredient specialist that can come on and talk to us about, you know, when you see certain ingredients, where should you spend your money and when should you not. But that's all I really have for you guys today. I'm just so excited that I got to hang out with you guys for a little bit. Happy 420, everybody. This was my contribution to <laughs> 420, I guess, using my Mary Jane palette. I think it looks great. 
I think it was a lot of work. <laughs> I don't think I'll wear this every day, but it was really, really nice to hang out with you guys. Um, let me know. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Let me know who else. We have people that we are scheduling for May for Makeup and Chill. Let me know who you'd like to see, and I'll definitely take those into consideration when I'm reaching out to people. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, you guys. I'm just so, so happy that we got to do this. So let me just check the chat really quick because I love talking to everybody in the chat. You should do a makeup collection chai. Ooh, I agree. Ooh, chai starting now or a month of May? Yadi, I have the Tatcha powder. It's nice, but not yet a fave or anything like that in my opinion. Hmm, so I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do because you said that, Ashley? I think that what I'll do is I'll just use it like every single day. Oh my gosh, this palette ruined my chair. I'm gonna use it every single day and see, because you know how Tatcha's kind of like, um, Tatcha's a skincare brand, right? And so what I noticed, and I forgot to mention this with my Pat McGrath, but I did say this to my sister when I had purchased the first one, was that, what I've noticed is that sometimes with powders, depending on the ingredients, it takes a minute. Just like with foundations, it takes a minute for your face to tell you if it's really gonna work for you or not. And I didn't like the Pat McGrath powder right away. And then all of a sudden, like I used it consistently and after a few weeks, it just looks so, so beautiful under the eye and it became a favorite. So now that you say that, I think what I'll do is I'll keep this in my, just my vanity here. And I'll probably use it every day, maybe for a month, and then give thoughts like, do I love it? Do I not? I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. It actually looks really, really nice. My skin looks silky. Um, it's not as poor blurring as my Nakia Joy powder, but I think it's pretty. So I'll keep an eye on that since you brought that up. I think I love that. Okay, Yadi, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate the melt palette? Are the crumbles worth the end result? So yes, in my opinion. They're gonna go everywhere, but I'm not gonna use this palette every single day. This is gonna be like a super, and I don't have lashes on right now, but this is gonna be a super glammed up, going out type of look. And because of how I would use this palette, I would say for me, it is worth the crumbles. Um, I did wear it, like I said, all day long yesterday, and I can post a picture so that you guys can see yesterday versus today. Um, and I applied it at like 7.30 in the morning, and I didn't wipe it off or wash my face off until about 10 o'clock at night, and it was still perfectly intact. It looked beautiful all day long, and so that's what I can say. Um, so for if you if you buy it expecting it to be your everyday palette and that maybe sometimes you'll have it in the car because you're running late and you'll just kind of swipe swipe no you're gonna make a mess but yeah i do believe that in my opinion it's worth the trouble um i love olive but have to work on how to make those colors work with my or jive with my skin tone hmm Totally agree, but the powders, you have to give it time. Oh yeah, see, Christiane is saying that with the powders, you have to give it time. This is a beautiful look, Yachty. Major fallout can be a turnoff, especially when it continues throughout the wear time throughout the day. I, I agree, Locke. Um, I agree, but like I said, I did not have fallout after the initial application in the morning. That was my experience. I did use my finger with uh, the shimmers and no fallout all day long. There was fallout when I was applying. So if it had fallout like throughout the day, that would be a turnoff, but I just think like I really got, like I warmed up the product with my finger and it did meld onto the eye perfectly. Um, so it's irritating upon application, but after that it's totally fine in my opinion. Let me see, this is what I'm thinking heavy on the chat. I can dupe the shades, yeah. So that would be, I don't have that many singles with Sydney Grace. I know that there's some shadows in like the Enduring Love palette that might dupe some of these. Um, if you could dupe it with Sydney Grace, I would keep Sydney Grace over this formula. That being said, I'm still happy that I have it. It's not a run type of situation though. Like, yeah, it's not a run. Wait, if you really love a color story and the colors, then wait until it's on sale on their website. True, less is more. Let me see. I'm not buying as much makeup either. I only have one face. <laughs> yeah. Same. Even though I'm trying not to buy that much, I feel like I'm still buying way too much than 
Enduring loving enduring love palette. It's a gorgeous. I know I missed it twice And I don't know it must have just been work or whatever But when they released it every time I would look the deep one was sold out and I just didn't want the light one So I'm waiting. I'm hoping that it comes back. I'm glad the palette is workable. I like their color stories Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty I'm gonna tell you what what really drew me into the Mary Jane theme or color story was the glitter pots and then I ended up not even getting the glitter pods, but you know, they weren't at Sephora. I agree, I'm buying way too much, I know. Still, even though I'm trying to watch my purchases, I'm still buying too much, but anyways guys, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have an amazing day, happy 420. Thank you for hanging out with me as always. Like, this is kind of what I live for, like the community, the chat, like just hanging out and talking to you guys. So again, send me some suggestions. Thank you, Lorraine, you're so sweet. Send me some suggestions of who you'd like to see here on my makeup and chill. Um, I want to see some of these beautiful faces here next to me in my screen. So let me know. I love you guys. Have a great day. And I will see you later. Okay, this is awkward. Bye, loves. Bye.